The 24 Assets Coda template is based on the 24 Assets framework and book by Daniel Priestley, and it's a comprehensive business management software where you can visualize chart and data by using the system, and you can do all your project management, CRM, as well as knowledge management in one single Coda doc. In this video, we are exploring this doc and looking at how you can also expand these capabilities through Coda packs that allow you to integrate third-party tools into your Coda ecosystem quite seamlessly. Now also with two-way sync. This is the Coda doc and there is a dashboard right here. The dashboard is meant to be a place where you can visualize data coming from the key components of the system in charts or in simple summarizations of that data. For example, here are our philosophies, which is a key component of the 24 assets. You start from what's your mission, your vision, the founder's story, the origins story of the business, the values of the business. So that, that is front and center on your dashboard of the daily operations. Then you have key metrics such as team size, where it is automatically calculated from the team directory that you have here. And you can also keep track of revenue per person. That is a key metric as well as proposed by Daniel Priestley. Besides that, on the dashboard, you can see data such as deals by status in a pie chart like this. You can visualize the number of companies by industries, for example. And right now you can see these charts are quite empty because there isn't data in this template yet. But once you have enough data, these charts become very valuable for you to visualize a high level overview of all the data that you've been collecting and gathering in the system. You can see total open tasks by SNE, for example. Some projects analytics, just the average meetings per project, as well as projects by status, which you can also filter dynamically by year, by month, by quarter. And everything really starts from the 24 assets table. That's a way for you to organize everything downstream of the 24 assets, starting from the products, the projects, the CRM as well. And in here, you have different views of the 24 assets table, such as a view of all the asset groups, as well as a view of all the specific assets within each group. And you can see an overview of all the assets by group right here, where you can expand each group, which you can also open as a page if you like. Now with the right sidebar menu from Coda. And in here, you can then see more information about each asset, including the definition, the summary of the projects related to it. And when you expand it, you can also see a section for notes, where you can freely write, and a view of all the projects related to the asset over time. Because the idea is that you want to execute on projects and action items to progress your assets and develop them over time because assets determine the value of your business. It, they can increase the valuation of your business. And the more assets you develop over time, the higher the value of your business and the barrier that it creates within itself. At the same time, in the beginning, you really want to focus on a few select assets to ensure that you do not spread yourself too thin in your efforts, but rather you start from the smallest possible component and the zone of proximal development to then expand over the other assets over time, slowly and with consistency. The team directory is a way for you to keep track of all the team members. Each team member is then a page just like this, where you can define the role of that member, the team they are part of, the headshot that will display here on the directory nicely, email address, phone number, date joined, birth date, and in here, really, you can then also add additional columns, if you like, to keep track of even more data about your team members. And to add columns, you can always go to the columns option and add additional columns. You can also visualize the team in a table format. Products is where you manage all your products. This can be the core product, that is the core offering that you provide to your customers. They can be gifts namely free products without any expectation. They can also be product for client that are complementary products to your core product, but still paid. 
or products for prospects. They can be freebies in exchange of email address, for example. And that's the centralized place where you can keep track of all your products and the URLs to internal systems where you manage them so that anyone can access them and know what's the status of your product ecosystem over time, which you can also visualize here by type. The wiki is your knowledge management system that is searchable by anyone. Everyone can be assigned as the owner of specific documents and anyone can see their documents in this specific view right here. Each document then can be expanded to see more details and also the page content can be written down here. Which you can always expand like that. And documents can also be linked to specific products or specific projects as well. And projects are part of the project management system. When there are projects which can be broken down into actions, projects can also have meetings where you can take meeting notes and projects can also have content that is, can be social media content or any type of content that you create as a way to generate awareness for your brand or whatever strategy you have in terms of marketing content. So whenever you open the product page, you can visualize many views of projects and you can expand and collapse the specific views that you want to see at any time. Each product is then a page which you can expand to see exactly all the details about that project in a sort of dashboard here because you have the 24 assets that it relates to, if any, the status of the project that determines the position on the pipeline, owner, collaborators, the start and the end date, the progress, dependencies as well, which are particularly useful to visualize on the timeline view that you can see in projects. You have action items right here, directly accessible from the page, where you can quickly add new ones or link existing ones. All the wiki documentation linked to the project, which again, you can add directly from here if you like, and a meetings calendar for the project together with a free canvas of content that you can write here. Also using AI, if you like, Coda AI using control plus space. And when you go to all projects, you can see, for example, the timeline view, which allows you to zoom in and out of different levels of resolution to visualize your projects and how they relate with each other. And you can also go to today and you can also select specific months in the past. That is an improved timeline view that definitely makes Coda timelines much more user-friendly and accessible by everyone. And also notice that whenever you have a table, such as projects or whatever table we saw earlier, you also have quick filters that you can apply to filter data for whatever criteria you want to see at any time. You can filter by status, for example, by owner, by collaborators, by the assets or the asset group. And that will then filter that view for you specifically. And all these components are part of the project management system and related to projects. The content management system is a content calendar and also board, which you can visualize in different ways. The board view allows you to quickly keep track of the content, the status. You can always filter by these quick filters here and you can open each content just like that to see more details about it. In here as well, you can see there is a layout that is the content layout, which makes the page look better and more organized. And that's going to be applied by default to all the pages now. And finally, the CRM or customer relationships management system is where you can keep track of your network of contacts. These are individuals, companies, the companies for which the individuals work or companies in your network or companies that are your clients or they are related to deals, which is particularly useful if you are a B2B business and you want to keep track of your deals pipeline. In addition, companies can be related to industries, which is a comprehensive table of all the possible industries that a company is related to. And you can see here for which, for each industry, how many companies there are in your system. The deals pipeline is particularly useful if you use it and you actually want to keep track of deals in one single place. And you can see here deals broken down in different views. This is deal pipeline and what it looks like with different statuses. And you can open each deal at any time. Here as well, we have a 
layout that is a DL layout that makes things a bit better looking. Each DL can have an owner, a value, a source, which you can see here, a status from when they enter pipeline all the way to closed one or closed lost, and all other details that you can assign to it. In addition, there is an automation that whenever you set this status to closed one or closed lost, automatically adds the close date to the DL. And as a consequence, you will see the month closed automatically populated as well, because that's a formula that depends on the close date. And this is then useful because then you can have an aggregate view of data by month. And then I will also add by quarter, by year, for example, where you can see the value broken down by different time periods. And that allows you to make informed decision to see maybe what are the periods, the more DL flows, what's the period of time during the year where we close the most deal, for example, or we lose the most deal, and how can we improve that? Because once you have these data in the system, you can then make informed decision with that data. In addition, if you use external tools, because of the flexibility of Coda, you can always integrate those tools within your Coda doc. For example, if you use a different tool for your CRM and you do not really want to do a complete new system in Coda because you are using the Pipedrive, for example, or a HubSpot or whatever CRM system works for you, that is fine. Coda has a PAX ecosystem that allows you to extend the capabilities of your docs quite seamlessly. In addition, you can also use the Coda API to create your custom pack or to use tools such as Make, Zapier, NA10, Pipedream to create your own automations or just use the APIs independently. When it comes to packs, you can always find them from the insert menu and you can see here packs. You can search for packs right here by a specific category or you can also visit directly the Coda packs landing page on their website to find any packs that you might need. And that would allow you to then have either a one-way sync or a two-way sync, if you decide so, to sync the data from your third-party tool to your Coda doc and make that data alive and make it work for you within the system so that you can still relate, for example, deals with projects within Coda while at the same time managing deals in Pipedrive or HubSpot. And you can see my latest video on how to build a sync table in a Coda pack that takes data from Pipedrive, for example, to understand better this concept of Coda packs. There is also the calendar Coda pack that could allow you to pull meetings directly to the meetings table in Coda and have that data already here without you having to manually do the work. Or you could use the emails packs as well to connect your CRM with your emails and keep track of conversations with individuals. So really, the possibilities are very great. You will find a list of all the possible tools that you can use within this 24 assets template in the usage guide that I put together here as part of the template. You can find the link to the template directly in the description of this video. For any questions, you can leave a comment or any feedback that you have down below. Thanks for watching for now and see you in the next one.